you like to live in a big old house in Scotland? Somewhere like this, for example. He may well have the plan with him. Yes, yeah. he could rob the wall. Oh, well, he, I I, we haven't done anything too different. No. I think what we've done is, is an improvement. Yeah. Yeah. Sir Gordon, would you like some chocolate? This is the home of General Sir Gordon Macmillan. He lives here with his wife and family. Um, Sir Gordon and Lady Macmillan also invite some students to stay with them and help them in the house. Bill for that thing last week. He gave them a week in Portugal. How did it go? Sir Gordon used to be a soldier. There's a picture of him, in uniform on the wall above his desk. A lot of things in the house help the family to remember the past. Living in a house like this is expensive. Sir Gordon and Lady Macmillan need extra money. They have lots of good ideas. My wife and I uh, run our gardens as a small horticultural business and we sell our produce in a shop uh, in, which we call a garden centre and we also sell it uh, wholesale uh, to markets. Lady Macmillan spends a lot of time with the flowers. The flag over the house shows that the family museum is open. Sir Gordon's daughter is our guide. In this room, we've got some Victorian things that belong to the family, some of them over a hundred years old. The photographs that are here, the Quaker bonnet, and over there, the lace and some children's things. Who's this? This is Lily Palmer, my great-great-grandmother, who wore the bonnet. That's her husband. And who's this? That's Lily Palmer again. And this was my grandmother's great-grandmother's dress and her parasol here yeah. and the muff that she wore and this fan is made of ostrich feathers and what's this? that's osprey feather to wear at the back of your head and what are these? these are a necklace made of jet and an ornament to sew on your dress. For the moment, Finlayston House is a family home. Thanks to hard work and good ideas, it may stay that way. And she doesn't look English, does she, Ronald? The woman in number 14 doesn't look English. <gasps> Perhaps she isn't English. Do you remember Ingrid? She looked English, but she wasn't. Yes, strange, isn't it? Mm. 
Yes, strange. Ingrid looked English, but she wasn't. And the lady in number 14 doesn't look English, but I think she is. <laughs> well, there we are. The end of the party. No more to drink, no more to eat. Too late for music. All we can do is go to bed. Oh, talk, of course. <laughs> we like to talk to friends. We don't often meet people. I know what we can do. You do? Oh, good. Sandra? Yes. What I always do after parties. I'm glad you stayed, Harriet. And you, Ronald. Really? That's nice. Yes. I'm really glad you stayed. She doesn't look English. Perhaps she isn't English. What should you remember from today's programme? Christine looked really wonderful. Perhaps she's tired. I don't think so. William must be 47. She doesn't look English. Perhaps she isn't English. Yes. After a party, before I go to bed, I like to clean the room and wash up all the glasses and cups and plates. And it's so nice to have two friends who can help me.